Today we're going to be working on building a very powerful workstation with 40 cores. It could be used as a home lab server, hypervisor, or just any task that requires a lot of compute power and quite a bit of storage. You guys are looking at the Dell Precision T7910, and I like this workstation a lot. This is because it is large, quiet, has a lot of dims, and because it supports two version 3 or 4 Xeon processors. After I take off the bezel and show you the drives, I will take off the cover and show you the internals of this system. Okay, the bezel is off. You can see four 3.5 inch hard drive trays. I have nothing in there right now, but I'll be installing them later. You can also see some T7910s have an option to install four 2.5 inch drives in the front as well. This one doesn't. There's also a DVD port and four USB ports. We're going to try to use a DVD port to add an additional SSD to the front of the system. So now I'm going to turn the system around and show you the back of it. Okay, now looking at the back, the first thing you'll probably notice is the power supply. These systems have very powerful power supplies. 1300 watts to be exact. You can also install up to three video cards in this system, but we're not going to be doing that. That's going to be for video editing for us. We're just going to install two 20 core CPUs in here and some memory. You can see there's two network ports, one gig each, and there's a few USB ports. And that's about it. Now, I'm going to take the cover off. Okay, the cover is off and the two processors are out. We're going to use a CPU on the older side, the 2620V3. We're also going to be using two heat sinks. And these ones are very quiet and have copper for more efficient cooling. This case also has plenty of space and plenty of ports for video cards if you decide to install one. Okay, we're going to install the CPU only and just one RAM stick. And we're going to use Windows 10 to update the BIOS. You can install Windows 11 on this, but you won't be able to update the BIOS. And we're also going to attempt to remove the DVD drive. And we're going to try to put an SSD in there just so we don't waste one of those 3.5 inch hard drive spaces. Okay, we updated the BIOS to the latest version, and we are now ready to install these components. The CPUs are 20 cores each, E52698V4, and they can go up to 22 cores per CPU, but those are like $200 each, where these ones are only $85 each. We're going to be using a basic 1TB Crucial SSD. I also have two 32GB sticks that I'll use. You can add 8 DIMMs per processor in the system. We're going to be using this DVD enclosure again. You can get them from Amazon for like $10. The memory's price fluctuates, but it's around $30 to $40 per stick. Okay, most of the parts are installed and the DVD is in. We decided to use a decent video card, the K5200, and you can do some video editing with it if you decide to. Those are the heat sinks that I was talking about. They have some copper pipes in them and work really well and quietly. As you can see, there's eight DIMMs per CPU and plenty of space. You can install additional video cards, but I also wanted to mention, there's two different types of Dell cards you can use. One is a dual port NVMe card and one is a quad port NVMe card. So if you need additional fast storage and you don't mind spending a little extra, stick around and I'm going to talk about the price later on in the video. You can also enable beautification in the system so it can read all four drives if you do that. Okay, all the components are in. Both heat sinks are in, both memory covers are in, and by the way, make sure to put the memory covers on so they can cool the memory and make sure they don't overheat. The video card is in place, and now we're going to install the operating system. The operating system is installed. Make sure you install a pro version or it will not see all the CPUs and all the memory. As you can see in Device Manager, there is a one terabyte crucial SSD drive, NVIDIA Quadro K5200, dual 1GBE network ports, and Dell SAS 3008 HBA. This HBA card supports true NAS and Unraid. All 40 cores and 80 threads are listed in the Task Manager. You can install VMware Workstation and start experimenting with various virtual machines. If you decide to run too many virtual machines at the same time, we recommend that you install an NVMe card with multiple NVMe drives, and you will be able to run many VMs at the same time. The cost of the card is about $40, 
and the cost of NVMe drives varies on size and performance. If you decide to run TrueNAS, Unraid, or ESXi, we recommend that you install it on bare metal and not use Windows. The total cost to build a system like this is about 750 If you are in the New York City area, you can pick it up from us for $680. Thank you for watching the video, and let us know if you have any questions, or if you would like us to cover a different topic. Built an empire of stars.